Good morning, buenos dias, tuning in from Mexico today. Please leave in the comments how you're doing. How are you feeling after the new moon? Do you feel like you had a rapid shift this weekend? Was there a big shift in your direction, in your purpose, in what you're working on? Or did you make some sort of big decision that will completely change your life this weekend? That was the theme. Let me know in the comments. Are you experiencing any big shifts right now? We're stepping into the year of authenticity. We're stepping into the year of following your heart and making a decision. So lots of changes coming. Um, for today's class, what we'll do, we'll do a couple maneuvers to start off. Congratulations to those who finished the 28 Day Life Reset. What an accomplishment. There's over 400 people so far that finished. And of all of the programs that people do that are for a 28 day period or a month period to work through the emotions and the trauma and everything that you've worked through, it's amazing accomplishments. So congratulations. There's a lot of changes that are gonna come from taking care of yourself for 28 days. So let's start off, let's do a movement. We'll open up the, uh, we'll do antler twist. So if you have headaches, head tension, or any blockages in your head, concussions, stuff like that, let's open it up. So you're gonna take your right hand, place the fingers backwards on your temple. Left hand, fingers facing forward. Squeeze your head, twist so your hands meet at the top. Hold it there and move around and breathe. A lot of people detoxing right now. Headaches, diarrhea, throwing up, stomach aches, tight, tense, in pain. I don't, I, I feel like it's the shift. This is the year that you can no longer negotiate with your body. You can no longer cheat. You can no longer put chemicals in. All the things have to come out that are holding you back, okay? So next maneuver, we're gonna pull the ear. So right hand, grab the top of your left ear. Left hand, grab the bottom of the ear. Pull the bottom forwards and the top backwards. Really twist it. Stretch it, hold it there. And move around and breathe. And relax, shake off your hands. Left hand, grab the top of your right ear. Right hand, grab the bottom of the ear. Pull the bottom forwards, top backwards, stretch it. Hold it there. Hello, Dan from Insulted. Stretch your ear. For all the moms out there that pull their child's ear, you're actually doing therapy on them. And relax. <sighs> okay, feel your neck, feel your shoulders. Next one we're gonna do elbow, so right hand, place it on your trap. Left hand, grab the elbow, twist the skin outwards. Lift your arm above your head, hold it there. Keep torquing the skin. Move around slowly and breathe. And relax, shake it off. This weekend was big for us too because we, we were focused on rewriting our vision and the goals and the objectives for 2024. We're a little later this year, but it was the right timing to do it. Okay, left side, left trap, right hand, grab the elbow, twist the skin out, lift the arm up, stretch it, hold it, Move around and breathe. Yeah, we did it a little bit later this year, but it was the right time to do it. There's just too many changes happening internally and externally in the last few months to determine what 2024 was gonna look like. So to write a vision just didn't make sense at the time. So we did it this weekend. Whew, shake it off, 
shake your hands off. Some of the things we will be doing in the year coming up is going global, is we're gonna be going on tour, hosting large, large events in different cities like New York, and, or different areas like New York. We're gonna go to Austin, we're gonna go to Europe, so Germany, Sweden, Prague, potentially Australia, Philippines, Okay, let's do the jaw. So right hand fingers facing backwards, left hand fingers facing forwards. Squeeze your cheeks. Twist the skin so your hands meet at the bottom. Move around and breathe. Alberta. We actually have somebody hosting classes in Alberta right now. Well, it depends where in Alberta you are. We have live local classes, which you can sign up for on our website in Vancouver, New York, that are running every week. And we're gonna be having more classes run every single week in different cities and states and countries around the world. You know Britt, that's awesome. Yeah, so Britt runs those classes. She's also doing an Instagram Live on Fridays, teaching maneuvers. Okay, shake off your hands. We do wanna to go to Spain, not sure where we'll end up this year exactly but we are going to prague we are going to different areas around europe spain might be one of them that we land on we're also looking for a property right now to host our community having 40 to 80 people that we can host in nature with fully organic food there'll be animals there'll be plants there'll be maneuvers there'll be people working and living together and it'll also be a space for us to bring people through the community and share the practice. So we're going to be hosting a fundraiser to raise money to support something like that. Uh, we want to build our own sustainable systems for farming and uh, for electricity, for water. So we're building all of that right now. We're piloting it in some cities. Sounds like heaven. Yes. Hi, Michelle. Okay, next maneuver. Let's do, I'm feeling something around here. Let's pull this fascia down on the front of your neck. Hi, Haruka, nice to see you. Pull the fascia down, lift your chin up, and then move your neck around. Oh, you're finding a property, Amber, that's awesome. Yeah, we're right now we're visiting a bunch of properties and the intention is to bring our philosophy to a property where then we can congregate with people and work, live together, move together, learn about our bodies, share the mission. We have about 80 volunteers right now or people in some, some capacity helping this mission. And over the next year, what we wanna do to really expand things is translate all of our videos into different languages. So you'll see us uh, right now, we've got Swedish, German, Dutch, Japanese, Spanish, French, Italian. We've got Latvian. Uh, there's a couple others, Danish. All translated in the 15 minute stress reset and we're gonna be doing it in the organ reset. We're gonna be doing it in our guides. We'll be doing it for our 28 day resets so we can help more people. Okay, next one, grab your left wrist with your right hand, pull the skin down and then you're gonna tw twist your hand out. So stretch the skin. Move your hand around. Push your hand through. The other thing we're doing right now, and uh, if you're a content creator, a videographer, a video editor, um, we're looking for people to help us capture and create content. Some will travel, live and work with us. Some will be remote. Uh, you can go to our website and you can apply in the join our team section. You have to be experienced. You have to have done some of the maneuvers and the practice. Move your hand around. Let's switch sides. Stretch the skin down, twist it out, push your hand through. Move your hand around. Yeah, she's in Edmonton. You got it. And she does Instagram Live on Fridays, I think, as well. Okay, now pin right above the thumb with your left hand on the right thumb. Pin the skin, 
and move your thumb around. So really stretch the skin. It should feel like almost like the skin's tearing in a way, but it's not. You're just stretching it. Now remember your fascia. Uh, skin really is fascia, but you, you've got your fascia, which holds the muscles, the bones, the organs, the tendons, and the ligaments. So everything sits inside. And what you're doing when you pin is you're stretching the outside layers so everything else can adjust. Okay, let's switch sides. So pin your left thumb just at the base and then move your thumb around. Good. Shake off your hands. They should feel pretty good now. Okay, let's do an organ. So left hand on the back on your trap. Right hand. You're going to go just under your rib cage on the right side on your gallbladder and your liver there. And you can just hold your hand there or you can actually push in and twist the skin a little bit. Doing a thumbs up over that area. That just creates a it creates friction in the layers of fascia to open things up a little bit more. But it still works if you just put your hand there. And you're going to breathe. Also, if you have a yoga studio, a gym, fitness studio, Pilates studio, or anything where you have coaches and practitioners working, we're going to be looking for places to send coaches that have gone through our programs to do their practicum. So reach out to us and we're going to build out a full on application process, but right now just reach out to us. And as, as you reach out, what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna have studios all around the world that we have a relationship with that we can send coaches to. And the coaches have gone through our process, they've gone through the programs, and they know the fashion maneuvers. So if you have a studio and you want fashion maneuver coaches, reach out to us right now, just in Instagram DMs. Later on, we'll have a full on application process for it, but you'll be the early bird so you can skip the application. Okay, next, let's do the other side. So stomach, so right hand, go on the left side under the rib cage. Pull the skin into the center. Left hand on the trap, breathe in. We also have our coaches and our hosts that just did a fundraiser last month, arriving as of yesterday. We're gonna be doing workshops with them online and in person. I'm crashing your party. She's crashing my party. <laughs> um, so we have a bunch of coaches and hosts here and they'll be doing some hands-on training with us this week. So we're gonna capture some content and share it with you. And once they're done, they're gonna to wanna to practice and they're gonna to wanna to host classes and work with clients and stuff like that. So if you have a studio or a clinic and you want a fashion maneuver coach there, reach out to us. Do you come on? I come on on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9.30 Eastern time. <laughs> time. We work on many time zones. Hi Annie, nice to see you. Congrats on finishing the 28th day. Hi, Aisha. Yeah, she can take over. <laughs> no, you guys really no. want her. No. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Gary's teeth. I haven't actually asked him about his teeth lately. Yeah. Oh my God, he's I'm not sure. He's going through his process. But everything, he's looking younger every day. Actually, like recently, he's he looks very different recently. Yeah. Right? And I'm growing my hair long. <laughs> Who knows what that'll turn into? <laughs> we'll see. I might cut it. Hi from India. 
Hi, Courtney. You are lovely people. Thank you. Um, also, if you just finished the 28th day, it's an ant on me. If you just finished the 28th day and you're thinking of doing the Lifestyle Artist Program, it starts in two weeks. So you have a bit of time to integrate the 28th day. Please take your after photos. You're going to need those photos when you apply to become a coach or you apply for other programs. I say grow Jason, great hair. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, no. Uh, in Life Solar is level one. Mass signs after 20 days. No, you don't need it. It's only on a use case. Like if you have a stomach ache, if you're in a food coma, or if you accidentally eat glyphosate, you can use it. If you, yeah, so if you're done the 28 day, you'll be in the Lysol Artist Program next. The Lysol Artist Program is about cleaning out your life, learning more about the philosophy, the emotions. We're actually revamping that program right now. And then after that, you've got level two, which is about painting your picture, clarity, purpose, culture, vision, and deciding really the direction that you wanna go in your life. And the reason why we did that is because 28 Day Cleans Your Life, Lifestyle Artist Program, you embody a lifestyle. And then level two is when you actually start to say, okay, who am I now and what direction do I wanna go in? Aisha does that. She's like the little dream weaver. Okay. It will be different from the first one, Irene. Great, 28 Day Jason, my face feels hot. Hi, Aisha. <laughs> Hola. We're also going to be hosting an in-person class here. So if you're near Cancun or on vacations or you know somebody that is here that will want to come to a live class this weekend with all of the coaches, with all of the hosts, with all of us, um, we're going to be doing that this weekend. And it's going to be a little bit over 100 people. English or Spanish? Spanglish. Spanglish. <laughs> we're going to do both languages. Yeah, we're looking to expand in Mexico right now. We have Karina who's hosting classes uh, locally near Playa, but we yeah. also have other coaches that will start to be popping up. And by the end of the year, we see literally a coach in every city and hosting weekly classes that you can just show up. Uh, we want partners and affiliates and other people who have organic and natural and healthy products that support our philosophy to be selling them at those events. So you can show up and you can get the products that you need. You can get the movement that you need and you also get the community that's in alignment. So after the 28th day, I don't feel a change in digestion and was thinking of doing the 28th day again with supplements. Yeah, the supplements make a big difference because if you're not hydrated and you don't have the minerals and you're not cleaning out your digestive system, you'll get a result, but you're only doing a part of the equation. There's several parts, managing your emotions, journaling, document your, documenting your journey, you've got your movement, cleaning your environment, and then your supplementation, what you're actually putting in your body. When will you come to Florida? We're actually, I think we're planning on it. Yeah. Yeah, we're planning on it later this year. I didn't see any comments about shifts this weekend. Did anybody have a shift in perspectives this weekend? Come on. Or in the we had a new moon. This is a big one. We're now in the Aquarian age. Things are changing. Everybody's changing roles. Big shift. Okay, what'd you see, Mark? come to India. <laughs> We'd love to. I mean, India, we have a big following, actually. Hello. Black screen. It's not working, Bina. I'm sorry. I can't see you. Hmm. Okay. My mom Mom has been through so much healing. I felt sick last Friday. Yeah, a lot of people detoxing. Felt so bloated. 
Oh, by the way, we got our first uh, t kids t-shirt. So Heat and Garage <laughs> kids t-shirt. So this year we'll be launching more of them, but Maxine's testing the first one. Yeah. Intense cough over the weekend. Yeah, a lot of people experiencing that. Feeling relieved. Consistent Kratom use for three years. Detoxing from that. Wow, for you. I woke up with a dream last weekend, allowing me to let go of trauma from my ex. I had a shift in my perspective about how to process my emotions. Oh, that reminds me. Yesterday, I watched a video that validated something that I did naturally and felt naturally, but I didn't understand why, which was about minimalism. And this guy, he studies the flow state and how to get into the flow state and high performers and how to perform at your best in your life. And what he was saying was science, science has actually studied the number of possessions that you have occupy your energy. So everything that you own occupies bandwidth from your neural network or your body, your brain, your computer. The more things you have, the more capacity that it takes. So if you had a highway, all of a sudden there's a lot of traffic because you've got a lot of things pulling your energy. So they were saying that the science of owning things and having a lot of things actually takes you out of the flow state and prevents you from performing well in your life. Well, I'm a minimalist. I always have been. I don't like having a lot of things, don't need a lot of things, don't care for a lot of things. I have my priorities very clear and I'm focused on them. And I never really understood the why behind that. I knew that it helped me perform and I knew that it saved my energy, but I was sort of doing it intuitively. And this guy validated it. He was saying scientifically, the average per person spends 32 days per year thinking about their belongings. 32 days, an entire month of your year is thinking, worrying, wanting, desiring, and, 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 and um, problem solving, finding, locating, thinking about the belongings that you have. So clearing out your life so you can focus on things is really important in and out like a Pisces. <laughs> it's super distracting. You're like in the flow and then boom, they come in and you get in your flow and then they leave. Oh, Pisces. In and out of the water. I just got an announcement from this video. I'm not sure why. Well, that's weird. Can you give a brief explanation of who you are and what you are about? Uh, for me, I'm one of the co-founders of Human Garage. I am here because I I like learning and I like helping people. And I also like nature, health and wellness, lifestyle, teaching, building things. So there's a lot of things that I like, which is why I'm here. Um, I helped Gary and Cynthia. Together we built Human Garage from the start in January of 2020. Now we're in 2024, so we just hit our four year mark about a week ago, actually. I don't own anything, just instrumentals and my oils. Yeah, you know what? I mean, I have like a couple t-shirts, a couple shorts. I do like my essential oils. I have my computer, my phone, a tiny tripod, my backpack. Yeah, there's not much. You don't need much. I find the more that you have is just a, just a distraction. Just a distraction. I like having comfort and I like having quality and I like having nature and people and things around me, but I don't necessarily need to own it or worry about it or be responsible for it. The more things that you're responsible for, the more it takes you out of your flow. This, and you know what? I think that the market's going to change because people are no longer going to desire things that they don't need, which means that people are going to be giving away a lot of things, which means that people aren't going to be rebuying things, which means there's going to be this conversion into um, wanting a lot of things and always needing a lot of things to needing nothing and just having the things that you actually want that are actually important to you. One of the other things we talked about this week that I really want to focus my time and attention on soon is 
uh, a clothing brand that has fully organic clothes that can distribute worldwide. There may already be one that exists. I just haven't found many. Uh, there's some, they have some products either at small scale, difficult to distribute, or they don't have a variety. So it's not really helpful. Uh, but if you look at Lululemon and you look at all the other products on the market right now that everybody's wearing, they have a lot of chemicals that are hurting the body. And honestly, if you're wearing clothing for 8 to 10 to 15 hours a day and it's leaking chemicals into you, do you really think you can live a healthy life? No, there's no way. At some point, your body is going to crash. Pact, yes, Pact has good stuff. Uh, Raganique is more on the European hipster style, small scale. Uh, expensive shipping, but they do have some products too. What are the negative effects of wearing non-organic clothing? It depends. Like if there's if there's dyes, then that's a whole different story. But there's a lot of estrogen and hormonal disruptors, and and that will lead to autoimmune, lead to hormonal issues, um, birth issues, weight loss issues, digestive issues, hair loss skin issues, uh, racing thoughts, anxiety. It's even like receipts. Like I don't touch receipts from a store because they're filled with BPAs and other chemicals. That was so evident in my visions this week. Joe Fresh has organic cotton underwear and it's reasonably priced. That's great. I think more companies are going to start doing it. Raw Ganik, Irene, but they're super small scale. They're super limited. Um, I don't really recommend them, to be honest. I mean, they have good stuff for like the European style, but it's hard to recommend because they can't make a hundred of a t-shirt. So if I say, go buy this t-shirt, nobody's going to be able to get it. So it just doesn't make sense. And it was super expensive to get into Canada, like super expensive, not worth it. So again, again, it's like you're doing all the right things, but you lack the products. And I want to find a way to get organic clothing to the masses and in a way that it lasts long, it doesn't uh, leak chemicals into your body. It's comfortable. I mean, I, I still don't have organic swim shorts. Nudists, maybe on something <laughs> yes nudists may be on onto something yes i mean to be, to be honest with you even if you have something that's holding against your body like the waistline imagine like a, a giant elastic band right there what does that feel like i want to actually do that when when you um go to bed tonight or when you shower in the morning i want you to feel your body walk when you're naked and then Put on some shorts or something that's tight and then walk again and see how restricted you feel. Restricts the fashion, absolutely. Bamboo is okay. I mean, it's good, but it's, it's still highly produced. Cotton, there's hemp, linen. Linen is the highest frequency. Ah, Insta Rewant. Thank you. Please DM uh, our account and just ask them to pass it to me. They'll send it over to me so I can take a look. Yeah, hemp is good because you get a good grip on it. It's higher performance, but the frequency is not as high, but it is a higher performing fabric. I'm having a challenge wearing shoes. Yeah, I don't wear shoes. I have... I have barefoot sandals and I wear bare feet pretty much all day. I can't wear shoes. Like, like I try, I just can't do it. Also, most shoes that you wear are not grounding you. So they're not pulling energy out. It's actually disconnecting you from the earth. So all the information that you're engaging with all day is not being processed because the earth is actually, there's a natural flow and you can do this with tests. You can actually put on, put on shoes grab the machine, it will show you that there's no charge. Then you, then you take off your shoes, go barefoot, and there is a charge. What are your thoughts about diet? Uh, my opinion, no chemicals is the main thing. I don't 
don't do dairy. I don't do any animal products at all. I think they're inflammatory. Best cutting boards, uh, wood, but be careful of the finish. Don't use plastic because you get microplastics. I can't wear shoes. Yeah, I know. Just like take, if you're sitting at a desk, just like take them off and then put them back on when you have to walk around. Do the best you can, right? There's some companies, like even Vivo has some more dressier ones. It's not perfect, but... We're in Cancun most of the year, but we travel intermittently. What pans should we use to cook with? Uh, Non-stick. You can use stainless steel. Uh, cast iron, as long as it hasn't been... Uh, um, how do you say it? They put a lot of chemicals in cast iron on uh, to, to start it off. Like Sometimes they'll put a vegetable oil or something on it. You don't want that. You just want it raw, basically, like without any of that stuff. Or they like season it or something. There's like a word for it. I, I don't remember. Uh, but stainless steel's good. You can use cast iron. There's also nothing that has nonstick because that is not what you want. Nonstick has all this stuff. Uh, we have one in Lions Bay. It's copper and something else, but it's amazing. Like, amazing. It's, I wish I could. It's, it's a guy, he orders them from Europe. It's very small, so it's not like, I can't recommend it. I don't even know the name of it. But you don't know the difference of cooking your food until you have a pan like that. The food tastes completely different. Yeah, you have to take a metal sanding wheel to take off the bumpy coating and then season it. Yes. Cured. That's the name. There you go. No, don't use bamboo breadboards. They use a lot, a lot of crap to bind. Yes. Yeah, bamboo you don't want to use. You want to use wood. Copper is the best. Yes, copper is fantastic. If you ever drink out of copper cups too, they're like the the water tastes different. Yes, it is a copper pan. I just don't know what else he uses because he uses something else on it too. They're handcrafted. They're amazing. Like if you can get a copper pan that's done right, your food will taste very different. Copper water water bottles too. You can order one. And we're going to be doing a lot more education on this stuff. We haven't been as much because once people start to get out of stress and reduce tension in their fascia, release their trauma and start to clean all that stuff out, then the next phase, Lifestyle Artist program, is to go into what cutting boards do you use? What cups do you use? What plates do you use? What cutlery do you use? what shampoo and conditioner, what clothing, all that kind of stuff. We're going to go into that in the next programs. That's what we're building out now so that people don't have to do all this research. They can just go to one place. It's all there. Here's the products you can order. Here's the education about it. Uh, there's a toothpaste as well. I don't use shampoo. I don't use soap. I don't use conditioner. Might, might sound weird, but don't need it. Why do you need it? Yeah, sway test is always better, but your ego can't be involved when you're testing for stuff. The no poo method. What? Uh, it's so deep. Loving every bit. What's the app? Chatty Cappy Bird. I use an app that scans products for safety. Yeah, you can also use ewg.org and they also tell you what is in the product. So you just put in the name tells you and it tells you what research they have on individual ingredients within that. 
Yuka app. Okay, that's good to know. And if you have, if you have these resources, share them. This is what we want to do. I want to support companies that are building awareness. I don't use show for shampoos. A lot of estrogen mimickers. Yes, agreed. One hundred percent. You want to be as natural as possible. Why do we use soap? Uh, two reasons: friction and uh, smelling good. Okay, so friction. You can create friction with other ways, and you can use essential oils if you want to smell good. It's all natural. But water H two O is a cleaning agent, or it's a solvent, so it's actually going to pull things out. H three O two is different. Different structures that water takes on. What app do you say? If someone said Yuka, Y U K A, I've never used that one. But ewg.org also has some good stuff. But with all that being said, in the 28 day lifestyle artist, or sorry, the 28 day program and the lifestyle artist program, you'll learn how to test and tune in for your body so that you can, even if it says organic, it might not be. It might, it might. See, this is the funny thing is it's organic and stamped when it leaves the farm. But, but between the time it gets from the farm to you, what happens? Do they radiate it? Do they spray it with anything? Because it has to go in transit. And one of the ways that they preserve food in transit for long weeks is they radiate it because then it kills all the bacteria. If there's no bacteria, then it doesn't mold. It basically doesn't age at all. So it just looks, it's just dead, but it looks like nothing's changed. It freezes it in time. Organic is a loaded word, agreed. Even, uh, I heard a rumor, I don't know if it's true, but Bragg's apple cider vinegar now is not, not good. So just be mindful, do your research. I don't know, but I, it sounds like Bill Gates bought them and did some funny stuff, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to quote me on that. You heard, heard right. Owner is now Katy Perry. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much stuff happening. Who can keep up these days? That's why I want to build relationships with the farmers, the owners, the companies directly so that we know exactly where it's coming from and also why I want to grow my own food. Uh, grounding sheets to sleep. Absolutely. I think they're great. I saw the same article having worms in it. That's interesting. Azure Standard is a great resource for apple cider vinegar and fruit not being sprayed with a peel. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah peel apples, not good. A peel in general. Yeah, a peel is a big one. You know, the best way to do it is to find the farmers, build relationships with them and get it from them. Because if it if it's in transit for three weeks, okay, think of it like this. When you buy something off the shelf, it's probably been there for like at least a couple of days, sometimes a week. From the farmer to the transportation center, all the way across the country, across the border, into the store, unpacked from the shelf, put onto the, you know, put into the aisle so that you can grab it. You're now eating it like, like three weeks later. How does it do that? No food should, no food lasts that long if it's got healthy bacteria in it. I, I am a Sagittarius, December. Bill Gates didn't buy it. Yeah, see, I'm hearing mixed things. I, I don't really know. Eat what grows around you, yes. You also want to eat for your environment, but keep in mind, uh, you've got 10% bacteria that's active, 10%, or sorry, 10% good bacteria that's active, 10% bad bacteria that's active, and the other 80% in your microbiome is inactive and dormant. And depending on the environment that you're in, you can activate them. So when you go to different places, you 
activate different bacteria within your gut, which will change your digestion, change your thoughts, change your hormones. That's why when you travel, you might have a rapid shift in your digestion because you're bringing up dormant bacteria that have been asleep for a long time. Avocados have these lumps like a tumor. Interesting. Start buying produce from farmer's markets. Absolutely. Grow your own. Yeah, and local doesn't mean organic either. So just be, build the relationships, right? That's what it's about. Herbs, foraging. Yeah, mullein is great for the lungs. Irish sea moss too. Okay, guys, I've got to go. We got a class starting in two minutes with Denise. She also does local classes in New York. So you can join her live on Monday evenings, night. You can sign up for her class on our website. And tonight's class, I think, is that, or sorry, yesterday's class sold out. So we'll start to see more people getting together in New York. Really, what we want to do is bring people together right now. It's needed more than ever. Taking care of your body right now is needed more than ever. We're going to a, a year of change, shifts, transformations, and you want your body to be in a good place. So thank you everybody for sharing today, sharing your resources and your comments. I appreciate it. it makes the lives really fun when I get to engage with you. So I'll see you on Thursday. Have an awesome week. Take care. Thank you.